Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another experiment in Schedule 1. My name is Savin, founder, president, and CEO of The Syndicate. Before we jump into today's experiment, I wanted to take a moment to reiterate one of the core mottos here in Savin's world, which some of the new viewers may not be aware of. And that motto is, there is no right way or wrong way to play a video game. You play your game, your way. What I do here is run the experiments and present the data. What you choose to do with that data is completely up to you. The most important thing is to just have fun. That's what counts. Now, if you've been following along, we've been doing a series of experiments to find the best grow pot setup in Schedule 1. Our latest experiment showed us that in order to produce high quality buds, the most efficient and effective setup is to use a five air pot setup set up with the full spectrum grow lights and fertilizer only. However, I have received multiple messages and comments, and I've seen a slew of videos online claiming that that may not be the case. Heck, even my own employees are questioning whether I am using the proper setup. Isn't that right, Jesse? Now, Jesse here has been claiming that I am not using the best setup to grow the most buds, so, as a benevolent leader, I listen to my employees, and we are going to put this to the test. So let's hop down to the factory floor, and I will run you through today's experiment. And this is what we are working with today, ladies and gentlemen. As you see, I've got three sections that are using the moisture-preserving pots and the LED grow lights, and I'm going to be pitting these three setups against the winner of our last experiment, the five air pot setup using the full spectrum lights. They're going to be all growing the OG Kush seeds and using only fertilizer. As you can see, the supply racks are all set up and we've got a botanist assigned to each section, handler assigned to each botanist, the standard experiment setup that we've been using throughout. So here we have our man, Walter. He's gonna be working these five pots and throwing all the buds onto the storage racks. His handler is going to be moving the, the buds down the line. That way the storage racks don't fill up, which would halt the progress of the actual experiment. And then I have a six pot setup, a seven pot setup, and an eight pot setup using the moisture preserving pots and the LED grow lights, because there are many out there claiming that the moisture pot and LED is the best combo in order to produce buds. We shall see. We're gonna let this experiment run for three days and then we will, uh, we'll see who the winner is at the end. At the end of each day, I will tally up and consolidate all the buds and throw them in their, their uh, respective safes. I've got my five air pots set up right here. We have our six moisture preserving pots set up. We have our seven pots set up and our eight pots set up. As I said, we're gonna let this run for three days and at the end, we will see which setup actually produces the most high high quality buds. The only thing left to do is to motivate the troops and get this party started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another experiment. You know the drill. Get your three hours of sleep. We've got a lot of work to do in the morning. So I want you guys at your best. Give me your best. Anthony, work hard, buddy. Margaret and Jesse, we will see whether or not you are correct. Get some sleep, man. We got work to do. Let's get to it tomorrow. It is the morning of day one. The botanists have gotten busy filling their pots. We're going to sit back, let them do their thing, and we will check in on them at the end of the day. And we have reached the end of day one. I'm gonna hop down, consolidate all the buds, and we will take a look at our results. And all of the buds have been consolidated. Let's take a look at our results from day one. Starting off with our five air pot setup, we have nine bricks and eight loose buds. 
for a total of 188 high quality buds. Next up, we have our six moisture preserving pots set up, which has produced eight bricks and 16 loose for a total of 176 high quality buds. Next up, we have our seven MP setup, which has produced eight bricks and 16 loose for a total of 176 high quality buds. And now for our last setup, the eight moisture pot setup has produced eight bricks and 16 loose for a total of 176 high quality buds. So those are the results for day one. Let's go ahead and motivate the troops and then we'll head to bed and kick off day two. Ladies and gentlemen, excellent work. One day down, two to go. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Let's get our three hours of sleep. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. So make sure you are well rested. And in the morning, we are gonna hit it hard and get as much work done as we can. Great job so far. Let's head to bed and then let's get to it. Day two. It is the morning of day two. The botanists are already at work. We're gonna sit back and let them do their thing. We'll check in on them at the end of day two. And we have reached the end of day two. I'm gonna hop down, consolidate the buds, and we will take a look at our results. All of the buds have been consolidated. Let's go ahead and take a look at our day two results. Starting with our air pot setup, which has produced 22 bricks and 12 loose for a total of 452 high quality buds. Next up, we have our six moisture preserving pot setup, which has produced 22 bricks for a total of 440 buds. Next up, the seven MP setup, which has produced 22 bricks for a total of four. 440 high quality buds. And our last setup, the eight moisture preserving pot setup, which has produced a total of 21 bricks and eight loose for a total of 428 high quality buds. Day two is in the books. All that's left to do is motivate the troops and then we'll head to bed and end this thing with day three. Ladies and gentlemen, good work so far. Two days down, one to go. Let's get our three hours of sleep and in the morning we will get right back to it. It is a close race so far guys, so I wanna see your best tomorrow. We will see which setup comes out on top but for now, let's hit the hay, and then let's get back to it. Day three. It is the morning of day three. We are gonna finish off this experiment right. I will check in with you guys at the end of the day, and we will get our final results. And we have reached the end of day three. I'm gonna go ahead and hop down, consolidate the buds, and we will take a look at our final results. All of the buds have been consolidated. Let's take a look at our final results. First up, the air pot setup, which has produced 35 bricks with eight loose buds for a total of 708 high quality buds. Next up, we have our six moisture preserving pot setup, which has produced 34 bricks for a total of 680 high quality buds. Now, our 7MP setup, which has produced 
35 bricks and four loose for a total of 704 high quality buds. And the last setup is the eight moisture preserving pot setup, which has produced 35 bricks for a total of 700 high quality buds. Yet another experiment down, ladies and gentlemen, and this one was actually really close. It was actually pretty interesting. The five air pot setup did take the win, but it was a lot closer than I expected. It only won by four buds. However, there is one thing that I needed to point out, and I did this intentionally. So let's head back to the factory floor, and I will show you what I'm talking about. If we take a look at our setups here, you'll notice that our five air pot setup is the farthest away from the door, meaning Walter had a lot longer that he would have to travel in order to get started every single day. I did that intentionally because I wanted his setup to be the most disadvantaged. As for the moisture preserving pots, you'll notice their supply racks and their actual setups are so much closer to the door, meaning that the other botanists had less to travel. They did not have as far to go. So they could get to work much sooner than Walter. But even with that massive disadvantage, the five air pot setup still came out on top. Another very interesting experiment down, ladies and gentlemen. The only thing left to do is thank our employees and we will wrap this bad boy up. Ladies and gentlemen, excellent work as always. Walter, great job, man. You actually killed it. You won again. Congrats, dude. Jason, thank you so much for your hard work. Sharon, thank you, I appreciate you. Jacob, thank you so much. Jesse, hold tight, buddy. We need to have a little talk. Anthony number one, or no, Anthony number two. Oh, my apologies, I didn't mean to you know, call you the wrong name. Thank you so much. Anthony number one, thank you very much. And of course, Margaret, I appreciate you, thank you. Now, Jesse, we need to have a little chat. You made some uh, some accusations and some claims that turned out to be not true. Instead of listening to what the boss was telling you, you decided to contradict what I was saying. So, let this be a lesson to you. Another core motto here at the Syndicate, the boss is always right. Always, always, always. You got it, Jesse? Good, lesson learned. Have a good nap. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and keep on grinding.